All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put two shipping labels on a sheet of paper. And I actually had a request for this video. That's why I'm making this video right now, real quickly. And if you are new here, my name is Christina Spohr, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new tips I do for Poshmark. So let's exit out on this. Ooh, where is the... There it is. Exit. Um, then what I'll do is, so the moment you have a package, multiple packages, you'll want to go to your email and you'll want to either download it and it'll go to your downloads. I actually personally like to open it up and open it into a new window because I like to save it as a file onto my desktop as to post my downloads. I think it's easier to find, but that's just preference. So I'll save it as, typically I like to save it as the name with the product so it's easy to find. Um, otherwise, it's hard, but now I'm not going to label the person's name just because um, I'm not going to give that away, but we'll just say shipping. Um, oh, I already labeled, I already labeled something shipping. I just need um, to shipping. There we go. So we'll hit save. Oh, make sure it's on your desktop. Uh, save. And then just to save time purposes, I would actually go into the other email and download the other PDF, but to save time, I'm just going to download this one again, and I would right click again and save as, and label the name with the product, but I'm gonna just call it uh, Paws Shipping 2. So we'll actually wanna go over to pdf2png.com, and I'll leave the, um, descri or the link on the screen for you, or, oh, so much things, so many things up. Um, and here we go. Let me show you the reason I want to pull that up and convert it. I'm converting it from a, the PDF to a PNG file because when you're in the PDF file, if I were to right click it, um, it won't let me print it. I could go to print PDF skate desktop. That's something I like to use online. I don't have the desktop version. Um, so it won't let me print the PDF and I don't use Adobe. So in order to accomplish this, so in order to accomplish this, I am going to go to that website and all I would do is I would go to Upload Files and then I'll go to my desktop and I will find my files that I want to upload because I want to upload two of them. I can go to Poshmark Shipping 1 or just Poshmark Shipping and Poshmark Shipping 2 and then I can upload them. Um, of course, you can upload multiple items at once. That's not a problem. You can see it's all uploading. And then what I'll do is I'll hit download. As soon as it's downloading, I'll download that. And then what I like to do is to save time, I like to right-click the folder and say show folder. That way it pops up right away where it's at and it shows you. So I don't have to waste time finding it in my downloads if you have a lot of downloads. And then I will actually click it and then drag the shipping label to my desktop to print it and then I'll go back to downloads and then go to the next one and do the same thing and drag it over and then once I'm there all I'll do is I'll go to the Poshmark shipping you can see I have so many shipping stuff um, and then I'll actually want to make sure that it is the PNG not the PDF and you can see let's see I think it's this one yeah PNG right here so all I would do is I will highlight the ones I want to print, right click, and instead of hitting print, if I print it now, it would print really small on the label. So what I like to do, I mean, if you really wanted to print it, you could print it smaller, but I personally like to edit it. And then what I do to edit it, I just shrink the size, and then I select up here, and this tool is called um, art, let me see, it's on my windows, I'll find out the link and do it because I just use it for everything, I don't even know the name of it, but um, it's, came with the, it's with the computer, so I'll leave that there, and then I just like to crop it, and then there we go, and then I hit save, and it just saves that original file for me, and then I'll exit out, and I'll do the same exact thing to this one, crop, you can see, you can do it real small, that's fine, because it, it's easy to see as well. And then crop, and then I will save, voila. So I bust that out really fast with lots of items. Oh, it 
saved good. And then once it's done, I will come over here because these are the files. I'll just highlight them and then I'll right click and then I will go to print. And then when you go to the print view, you will see um, how it has a landscape, the full view. And what you want to do is you actually want to go over to the right hand side and you can click these options where it actually gives you the, the, la the landscape of it and it prints fine for me. I have actually found the four by six works really good. If I do the five by seven, it cuts it off. Um, so I actually stick by the four by six and that works really, really well. So wonderful. Well, I hope that helped with setting up your files on or printing your PDFs for your shipping labels and make sure to like and share this with other poshers who could use this tip to save paper in their business. Hello. So, and then I just want to let you know before you go, I am doing currently a free closet review. And in order to enter for that, you'll have to leave a comment below and I'll put up everything that you'll need to do on the screen. Um, in order to do that, you'll need to like, you'll need to like this video. You'll need to share it on Facebook or Twitter. You'll need to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. Um, you'll need to um, follow me on Instagram. You'll need to follow my posh closet and share 10 of my items and then make sure to leave your Instagram or your uh, Poshmark closet below so I can contact you if you want. All right, with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and have a wonderful day.